Hi and welcome to Easy Tutoring. Today we are going to cover how you can simplify numbers inside of a square root. So in order to simplify a number inside of a square root, you need to be familiar with what are called the perfect squares. So let's go ahead and take a look at our perfect squares. Our perfect squares are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, so on and so forth. Now I'm sure you probably see what all these numbers have in common. You could take the square root of every single one of these numbers. Square root of this is 1, square root of this is 2, square root of this is 3, square root of this is 4, and so on. You might be thinking, oh, how do you come up with that list so fast? It's very easy. 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, and you just keep doing that list and that is how you find your perfect squares because 8 squared is 64, 7 squared is 49, so on and so forth. So after you are familiar with your perfect squares, very important to know, then we can go ahead and start simplifying these numbers. How can we do that? Well, what you want to do is you want to look at your perfect squares not this row but this row and you want to think which one of these perfect squares goes into 162 one obviously goes in there but you never want to look at this um, four this four four does not go in there if you keep looking amongst this list, you want to try out every single number. Eventually, you will get to 81, which I probably should have put here is just the next term. Um, 81, you get that by doing 9 squared. And 81 goes into 162. How many times does it go in there? It goes in there two times. All right, so now that we found a perfect square that goes into 162, we can simplify it. So I'm going to rewrite 162 as 81 times 2. Okay, haven't changed anything, right? I just simply rewrote 162 as the product of two numbers. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these up. I'm going to split this into the square root of 81 times the square root of 2. Now this step is where some people might get a little confused on. You are allowed to split a square root into two if and only if the inside is either multiplication or division. You are not allowed to do it for addition or subtraction, and I see students do that all the time. You are not allowed to do it for addition or subtraction. All right, so now that we covered that, now we know that the square root of 81 is just nine. Nine times square root of two Square root of 2 is as simplified as it gets, so you just write this as 9 root 2, and that right there is the simplified form of square root of 162. So that is how you do it. Let's go ahead and do another one for square root of 75. First step, which of these perfect squares goes into 75? 25 does. 25 goes in there three times. So I'm going to rewrite this as 25 times 3. Then I'm going to split up the square root into the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. And then we know that the square root of 25 is simply 5. 5 root 3. Boom. That is how you do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys ever want ACT or SAT help, be sure to visit my website, www.e-ztutoring.com. Thank you guys and good luck with this.